Hello everyone, welcome to Code Effectively. Today we are going to discuss how to input the array and display the following details. This is an array program, must ask program for sure for classes 9 to 12 in your board exams, in their pre board. This is a for sure 10 marks program. And 10 to, or for 12th, it is for sure 15 marks program. So you have to make sure that you know this program by heart. It is asked everywhere. Okay, so let's start. See, what we have asked is that we have to input the student name, marks in the three subjects, total marks, add display their marks and their average marks. Okay, input the student name. See, we have we can input many numbers. If the, there are four students, then we have to input the details of all the four students. Like all their marks in three subjects or their total marks, what are their average marks and display all their marks so what we have to do is what i suggest see this is the rough idea now after the doing the rough idea we will go and type the program in the id so first you should pause the video and see how what solution you can go for this type of a program what is your approach see try and then listen my approach what i will do for inputting the name of the student i will make a array let's say for do see that we have to go for the string type for the student name, like we will give student name and let's say we are taking the input of, let's say three students. Okay, so I have to input the three names. So I will be taking an array of name of array string type and give it a name or a variable that is name. Okay, and then we will input the three names. For storing the marks of three subjects, we will make three arrays and for marks one and we will make this of size three. Then for the marks second subject marks, we can take it M2 and then again of size 3 and then again an integer type of an array for marks 3 and of 3 size. These are for the 3 different subjects that are for 3 subjects. Subjects that is for 3 subjects. After this I am asked to store the display to store the total marks. For total marks I will make an array of total marks that is of 3 size so that I can get, take their total and display put that in this. Okay. After this, same for the average, average also I have to take the array and then again an average we have to store of each student. Okay, and now the display, we can display all the arrays and this is how we can dis display the report card. So now see, let us see a practical programming approach using Eclipse ID. You can use your BlueJ ID also, but I now prefer Eclipse ID because it's easy to use. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to open the Eclipse ID. This is the class I have already made. So now just keep following me. So for getting, see, we will be using scanner input. For the scanner input, we have to use import java.util package in order to get all the scanner, to get the scanner class. Okay, java.util.axtray is used for scanner. I will write the comments so that whenever you take the screenshot, you can get a follow for scanner input. Okay. This is for the scanner input. I believe that you should first try at your own this program. It is quite easy. There is no difficulty. And if you face problem, then you can see the solution from my. Now we have to declare the arrays. So we will use for the string student. So that in order we can store the name of the student. And this could be of size 3. Because we will be using 3 students. Okay. After this, we have to go for the another one. Okay. New. And then sorry, I forgot to write the string here. After this, then we will go and store int and let's say we have to store the marks. So let's say for the subject one, this is M1 or we can say marks one also. See, make sure that you use correct mnemonics so that you have a good use of the mnemonics. So you know yourself that what variable I'm using for what. In future, if you forgot the use of variable, then you can identify using by looking at the name of the variable. That is quite easy. Okay, so M1 indicates that we are using for the marks 1, subject 1. I will write the comment also here for marks of subject 1. Okay, subject 1. Okay, then for the second one, you will just go again new int and that is again 3. Okay, because with 3 students, then the marks will be in 3 subjects. Now, this is for let's say subject 2. Okay, and then again, we will go for the int M3 for the third subject and we will declare the array. That would be int of M3 and of again of size 3 because 3 students then they will score 3 marks. And then again I will use the comments in order that you know what I am doing here. Okay, subject 3. Now what to do is now we have to make an another total array in order to store their total marks. So total is equal to new int and it will be of 3 marks. So it will be like here and I will give total marks. 
after this we have to again declare average also because we have to show the average of each and every student let's say avg is equal to that or should be of array is equal to new av new int and that two of three size okay i hope you are getting the picture clear it's average marks i'm giving the comments in order you can follow it okay now we are done with the declaring these are the three things that so these are the five things that we have to declare six things are in short now you have to make the scanner class now you can make the scanner class it will be scanner sc is equal to new scanner new scanner you the name of the object you can name any i am using sc in order to remember that why i was using okay system dot in that's it okay now what is this this is used for the input okay how to input we will be using scanner cards that's quite obvious now use just display system dot out okay now just display system dot out dot print ln okay and now display enter enter the details that's it now we will be entering the details okay what is the detail first we will ask them to enter the name details okay so let's start for the name details or you can just take the details at any in a same way okay just do it in the this way that we are taking for int i equals to 0 because we know the array index start from 0 and now i is less than i will be less than what i will be less than 3 because the indexing is going one less than the, the total length okay this is how we are doing this is i plus plus okay now here what i will do i will ask the, enter the name details okay here i am asking the student to enter the name detail of the student so it will be student and what is the value zero for the first student okay so it will be is equals to sc dot and we have to just go for next because in order to get the input as the string i will write the comment input the string for inputting the string in sc we have to use sc dot next okay now what i have to go i have to go for the marks so i will just display a message so that what you are inputting you will know okay system dot out dot print ln enter the marks in three subjects see make sure that you write proper comments in your program so that it is quite visible and clear to the examiner also and to you also that what you are doing it is important okay so sorry i am using i i'm zero i wrote zero it should be i only because i will be the zero okay and here also i okay now what you will do is equals to now simply sc dot now what we have to do integer oh, sorry next and int okay this is quite easy and int sc dot next int okay that's it and you have to just put a semicolon in order to get the integer input i will write integer okay integer this is used for the integer simply in you have to use for the m2 that is sc dot next and then int okay xc dot next int and you are putting for the integer it's quite obvious again for m3 you have to repeat the same picture okay this is the same episode that we are doing sc dot next int please type the program at your own so that you have a habit of writing these programs and after this what we have to do when we have entered the marks then we will have to calculate the total in order to calculate the total you have to first go as total at i is equals to total at i is equals to what it will be it will be what that will be simple mathematics we have to calculate the total so it will be m at i m at i okay so it will be m1 at i plus m1 okay so it will be simple we have to calculate of each subject of that particular student then it will be m1 at 2 at sorry at i again and m2 of the third subject that will be m3 at i okay this is used to calculate the total this is a formula simply if you are getting in first subject 3 in second subject 10 in, se in third subject 4 then the total is 17 quite obvious so total marks okay now what you are doing you have to calculate the average so average of each student what it will be a v g at i okay so it will be quite simple we have to calculate this entire total again so you can take it as total 
at i and divided by 3 because you know how to calculate total upon average so you can do like this some people will say cannot we calculate the marks to marks all this again and then divide by 3 go for it i will write this in the comment section so that for all those who want to use this job they can go for this this is also quite easy way now i have inputted all the values i am getting all the values now what to do you just have to go and print them now how to print them it's quite easy just go for it for again int let's say j int int and j is equal to 0 j is less than 3 and then again j plus plus okay then it's j plus plus what we have to do we have to just display the details it's quite easy for you you all know you are doing this from 6 standard it is just system dot out dot print ln you can just write student one details print ln and just give the message it's student student details okay now just give a colon what we have to do we have to display them so it's simple just simple go for it system dot out dot print ln it will be print ln okay so it will be first we have to display the name so it will come out to be the name so when which what we are shooting we are storing the name that is student so we have to display the student and add i okay it is easy quite easy for you okay so system dot out dot print ln student at i so this we have displayed the student after this i'm just copying out this so in easy to save my time so now we have to display the marks so in order to display the marks we have to just go for m1 this is m1 again then for student we have to student marks 2 then that is m2 okay again we have to store the m3 marks stored story we have to display the marks that is m3 and after this we have to display the total so we will change it as t total okay after this what i will do after the total we have to display the average so we will display the avg avg array it's easy okay now what to do just close the bracket it's over the program is done okay it's quite easy it's very easy for you okay we were using i here so let me take this i because i have used i so it's no not a and now let's compile it and see whether our program is running or not yes it's running so enter the name details i have to enter let's say my first name is let's say j okay i have to marks I have to enter the marks. Let's say first marks are 12, then again let's say 1, 2, 3, and let's say 34. Okay, now enter the name again. Let's say again let the name be Veer. Okay, so we have to enter the marks. Let it be okay, and this is be 50, and let's say 90 again. Okay, enter the name. Oh, and we, again we have to name, let's say Raj. The name is Raj, and the marks again it's 1, 2, 3. Let's give it anything, and again I'm entering the marks. So I think you got the details. It is written here, student details. So you are getting the student details. See, all the details are here. The name is here. The three marks are here. Yeah, the total is also here as well as the average is here. If you calculate, it will come out to be the same as you are getting in this. So you saw all the three details are being entered by the students. So it was very easy. You did nothing. You just stored it in the array and it, you were just displaying. So the array you took first at zero. So in every zeroth position, it was taking the student details at zero. In every zeroth position, the zero detail was taking place. Okay, so let me draw it for you. So it was very simple. See, at when I was zero, it was taking. You have to enter the name details. So at student zeroth position, okay, student. It was student zero. So student zero. It was getting, uh, see it is here when it will be 0. So at 0 you were entering the detail of 1 of the first student. That was let's say Veer. Okay, it was Veer. So in the second, again it was when 0. So you were entering the marks for the 0 student. That was the first student. Again the value was 0, 0. Here all 0. The value was 0. So you were entering the 0. Again the total was on, was stored at 8th at 0 position. The total was stored at 0th position. And the average was also stored at the 0th position. So at every 0th position, V's detail was getting stored. And when the I value got 2, when I was 2, the value of I was 2. At the 2th value, sorry, at the 1 value, it got 1. And we were storing the all the large whatever the name was and end all this one when the value of i was one that all at the one position the student second student's detail was stored so in the same way we have to go for it okay the number could be any it doesn't matter you can go for any 
any detail any number it doesn't matters okay after this we are doing just simple job so hope you understand what we were doing it was quite simple that every zeroth position for every zeroth position first student detail was getting displayed for every oneth position second student when the value of array was in every array the zeroth position detail of student 1 and oneth position student zero second student and at the second position third student detail was getting displayed hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video kindly go and subscribe to the code effectively channel and press the bell icon